What is up? Welcome to the goose field. We just got set up. We got birds starting to move. Give the layout. You could just set that up. Super windy, starting to snow a little bit. Pretty cold. Birds coming, guys. Birds are coming. That thing was so close. Should have shot that one. Logie, you're gonna have to be our eyes. How about it there, Brian? I'm killing this call wind on that case. I don't know why these geese aren't landing. Oh, look at them all coming up. Yeah, you got some coming from the back. We're in these layup lines, tucked underneath here. And obviously, trying to stay hidden. When the birds come, you just open up these, jump out, and try to shoot them. So, gotta keep shot of the wind, but got the shotgun in here, camera equipment, and then just enough space to kind of lay down in here. Casey's over to my right, over here. How good does he sound though on the goose calls? We are amateur goose callers, for sure, but it's fun to try to learn and get better. All right, guys, I just want to show you. This is what it's supposed to look like, okay? Laying in my blind. Take them. Hopefully, that's what it's going to look like here shortly. But, uh, nothing yet. Oh, you got the sriracha? Got one, though. Get ready. Done pretty good so far for based on the amount of animal or birds that have kind of swung the decoys. It is cold, but I grew up in Oregon, hunting Eastern Oregon. My dad, we would lay out for hours and hours and hours in the snow, trying to shoot geese. A lot of good memories, so it's fun to get back out here and do it. Do I look well hidden? These are good blinds, but I like those ones. They're a little bigger and you can actually get your shotgun in. Well, 
Scott's slow again, but I wanted to show you guys who's been practicing with their with the goose calls. Tell me what you think. One out of ten. Where am I at? Second time I've been. Second day I've been blowing a goose call. out we shot a banded goose i guess that's a pretty big deal in the waterfowl industry it's pretty cool because there's a number on here that you can call and then you can read them off the tag number and they can tell you all sorts of information like where it was tagged at when it was tagged at i've got one of these before it was from a duck hunt back in oregon it's the only one i've got on my lanyard mm -hmm. 